Oftentimes when patients present for abdominal contouring, we want to see what's the reason that they don't like the way they look. And it could be due to several different factors. It can be due to excessive fat, to loose skin, or to weakness of the abdominal wall. And often in pregnancy or post-pregnancy, patients have all three components, excessive fat, loose skin, and abdominal wall weakness. If they have one or two of those three components or all three, then we should tailor the procedure or the operation towards the actual specific problems. I'll give you an example. If a person comes in and they just have generalized fatty deposits over their abdominal wall, their skin is rather taut, their abdominal muscles are very uh, good, they exercise a lot, they're pretty flat, well then liposuction may be the best tool for them. So where only uh, you're removing fat and you're not really addressing any muscle or you're not really addressing any skin because it doesn't need to be done. If the patient presents, they're very athletic, their muscles are pretty good, they don't have very much fat and they just have some loose skin post-pregnancy or post-weight loss, well then maybe it's a skin-only abdominoplasty where you're just removing the skin and you don't even need to touch the muscles. But oftentimes with pregnancy, patients have excessive fat, excessive skin, and weakness of the abdominal muscles. So then what you have to do is address the muscles with muscle tightening, or what we call muscle plication, skin removal, which is removal of the skin, pulling it down, often recreating or repositioning the belly button. And with that, you can do some liposuction or just uh, within the skin flap, there's some fat, you remove fat as well. So you've addressed the fat, you've addressed the loose skin, and you've addressed the muscle weakness. And that tends to create a nice flat, better contoured, more shapely waistline and tummy.